Hi, I'm Eric Dexter, and I'm a superhero. Now, it's not really as glamorous as you might imagine. I don't have x-ray vision or a secret fortress of tolerance or anything like that. I'm just a regular guy who wants to do some good in the world. Anyways, let's talk supervillains. <laughs> Bet you're thinking of something like this. Yes, lovely. I brought you here for a very special occasion. The reign of Zolar is set to begin. <laughs> so appropriately named, too. Lovely. Yes, the lovelies always made fun of me back in community college. But now, Bob, is the atomic particle impaler ready? Uh-huh. How many times do I have to tell you? Call me, sir! Uh-huh. Sir. You'll never get away with this. Superhero will stop you. Ha-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Don't be a fool. We outnumber him. Four to one! Superhero. Superhero! Don't just stand there! Shoot him! weapon to repel you! <laughs> Superhero! <laughs> you fool. Don't you know that garlic is here to protect us from vampires? <laughs> Cut! You are so full of yourself. Great! I'll see you at 8 o'clock. How was that, Raul? Did you get my good side? Of course, yes, yes, of course, hero. I told you not to be purple! Out of my sight. Now that's a classic superhero. And believe it or not, this guy's name really is Superhero. Oh, you were thinking that was me? No, that's me. Now that's not so flattering. Huh, that's better. Oh, let's get back to the story. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. I watch you every week while you're uh, taping the show. And I was just wondering, what is it you do when you- Just doing my job, son. Stay in school. And you didn't even listen to a word I said. Superhero, superhero, have you caught the freeze guy yet? Well, that case has run kind of cold, Tom, but I'm still working on it. What about the bad boy? You're still in pursuit of him? Well, I've been chasing bad boy, and I hope to net him soon and bring him to justice. OK, so he's not the brightest role model ever, but I've learned a lot from him. For instance, respect your elders. And volunteer in the community. Keep the city tidy. Children are our future. Uh, teach them well and let them lead the way. And of course, be kind, rewind. Ladies and gentlemen, have you been burned by someone's extraterrestrial heat vision? Well, then you need to dial 1-800-SUPERHERO. That's right, 1-800-SUPERHERO. Frozen by freeze bandits? Had your bank broken into? No problem. Pick up the phone right now and dial 1-800-SUPERHERO. I'll fight for you. Here we have beautiful Bancroft Studios, where I work. And here we have my office. Okay, I, I know I don't look the superhero type. To be completely honest, I'm still a hero in training, which isn't as easy as it sounds, considering there's really not a school for it. I've had to rely on the internet, a correspondence course or two. Oh, see that thing? One of my gadgets. I call it a CAT scanner. 
I found some plans on the internet to make this thing that monitors police frequencies and lights up when something important happens. There's some voice recognition circuits and, well, you don't really care about the techno babble stuff. But I am glad all those years spent building shortwave and crystal radio kits prepared me for something. Of course, I just left my most important crime fighting accessory in my janitor's closet. <laughs> Office. Eric. Yes. You are coming back tomorrow, right? This is Carol. Her father, Ken Bancroft, owns the studio. He's a really great guy, and not to mention the one who gave me this job. But without Carol, the studio would probably be doing cable access. Oh, to clean the studio for the investors' dinner, of course. Good. Well, the studio needs to be spotless. The podium still needs to be set up. It's okay. Up. It's okay. I already went over all the details with your father earlier. <laughs> yes, but father will tell you we need 90 pounds of confetti and a life-size fake palm tree. I'm telling you things that we actually need. <sighs> Carol, <sighs> don't you think you're worrying a little too much? Maybe, but I wouldn't be running the fastest growing television production company on the East Coast if I didn't worry about the details. Yeah, well, let's not forget about Superhero. I mean, yeah. Well, we may owe something to Superhero, but my life doesn't revolve around a costumed egomaniac who fancies himself a vigilante. <sighs> oh, are you sure you want me to cancel the uh, life-size fake palm trees? Welcome to my apartment. Sorry, I didn't have time to clean up. I forgot this whole tell the people about being a superhero thing was today. Oh, hey, kitty. You must be hungry. Let me get something for you. There you go. You see, my little kitty inspired my choice of a superhero alter ego. Weekends, non-religious holidays, and every second Tuesday, I fight crime as the Siamese cat. Hey, kitty. Have you seen my cat scanner around anywhere? I Oh, great. The red alert light went off when I was gone. There must be trouble. And you thought you'd seen everything, right? think you're doing here and what are you supposed to be anyway wait a minute there's three of us and one of him get him excellent work my children behold interloper and cringe at the sight of the opossum! Opossum? Oh, Don't you mean possum? No! I refuse to acknowledge the existence of a silent O! Both are correct pronunciations. Silence! Who dares question the opossum? I am the Siamese cat, and I demand to know what you're doing here at Bancroft Studios. I'm not going to tell you. Fine, don't tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. We have long been an oppressed people. Marsupials, you see, are born with an aversion to sunlight, and cars, and shoes. I have searched forever in vain for a solution to these problems, until one day I saw the broadcast from this very studio, and I knew I'd found it. The answer. With a weather satellite at my control, I will have total control over the Earth's atmosphere. I will fill the sky with enough clouds to thrust the Earth into total darkness. Then my nocturnal brothers and I will rule the planet 24 hours a day and wreak havoc on those cursed automobiles. That won't work. I mean, you do realize that the weather satellite only reports Silence, the- Silence, day dweller! 
Your pedantic negativity will not work on me. Once my nocturnal minion and I have control of this equipment, we will plunge the world into Chaws. I'm sorry, did you say Chaws? Chaws! Chaws. How do you spell that? Chaws. C-H-A-O-S. Chaws! How dare you make light of the possum? Yeah, that's a good pun. It's it's just that the word is chaos. C H A O S spells chaos. Silence, infidel. All right, opossum. Enough of the kitty games. What? You ought to teach your men to tie a better knot. Opossums, see them. Bring it, opossum. Hey, not so tight. You're cutting off the circulation to my tail. There. You all right there, son? Did I hurt you? You okay? Come quick, superhero caught someone. Caught somebody? Oh, oh yes! Superhero has apprehended an intruder who is trying to invade Bancroft Studios. Someone or something is definitely trying to do corporate espionage. I've never seen Hey, wait. One second there, Tom. You're not with them, are you? Uh, no. I'm on your side. Who are you? The Siamese cat. Who's your friend there, superhero? Uh, oh, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank my good friend and compatriot, the Cheshire Cat, for all his valued assistance in apprehending these criminals. Looks like someone else needs to learn how to tie a knot. Hey kids, do you like action, adventure, patriotism, and loitering? Then you should watch The Superhero Show. Join Superhero as he fights for truth, justice, and all that glitters. The Superhero Show. Now with Big Dance Party every week. The Superhero Show. Weeknights on this network. Well, the night wasn't a complete waste. I mean, the story still made the paper. That's a great picture of Superhero and me. Or my arm. Oh, well, at least Opossum's henchmen were taken to jail. You're not going to jail, you idiot. Get out of here! Get out of here! Eric, I was expecting you to be in this morning. The studio is even messier than yesterday since Superhero caught some idiot breaking in. Hey, there was all this police attention, and then I went looking for that Opossum guy, and... Uh... Uh, hello, Carol. Hi, I'm sorry I haven't made it in yet. I... Okay, okay, just give me 30 minutes. Um, I will be there, the studio will be immaculate, I promise. Hello? I'm gonna go up and talk to everybody. Do you know what you're going to say? What? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bancroft Studios. Tell them Superhero will be here. Superhero will be here any moment now. Have some punch and hors d'oeuvres. Yes, I'm starved. No, tell them. Oh, please enjoy some of our hors d'oeuvres and, and have yourself some punch too. It's great.
I didn't know this was supposed to be a costume party. Possum, you really don't do your homework, do you? What? I suppose you're going to tell me possums don't hang from their tails. Well, now that you mention it, no, they don't. That doesn't matter. With Superhero fleecing the investors of his show, no one can get in the way of me taking over the satellite. <sighs> Not this again. If you'd listen to me last night when I tried to tell you... Silence, feel an opponent. Minions, grab him! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, what a crowd. That's nice to see all of you. I have no idea, but still, they sound like Eric! Opossum! Oh, gotta be kidding me. Look, if you would just listen to me for one minute, you would know that the weather satellites don't control the weather. I mean, think about all the time and the trouble you could have saved if you just would have listened to me in the first place. Silence. Your mind tricks won't work on me, boy. What? Don't come any closer, or I'll use my secret power on you. Try me. What are you doing? Get up. I can't hear you. I'm dead. You're not dead. You're just playing dead. I can't hear you. Get up. You're embarrassing yourself. Really. Come on. I'm gonna go find a phone. Stay dead until I get back. I guess it's true. You guys do only come out at night. Hello? Yes. I need a patrolman, an officer, over at Bancroft Studios immediately. Right. You told dispatch this was a break-in? Yes, a break-in. A break-in by guys dressed as possums. Oh, oh, possums, actually. Who is this? Sir? Sir? You realize I could be rescuing a baby right now or something like that. You know, there are murders and... Evil doers, beware! Superhero is here to protect the innocent and the meek! Hello there! I heard Superhero once fought Dark Cape Man to a standstill. Wait a minute! He's Superhero! Superhero! Hey. Well, thank you, Superhero, for saving our studio and, and of course, the entire town. No need to thank me, it's just what I do. Now I know that you will all share in my gratitude toward Mr. Hero, but keep this moment foremost in your mind when I remind you that you are all here to give me some more of your money. <laughs> Carol, can't you uh, get Eric to uh, take out some of this trash? Okay, so that wasn't one of my better adventures. I do get better though, I promise. But even when I screw up, am I that much worse than that muscle-bound doofus superhero? How can he have so much luck? It's just not normal. A long time ago, Superhero met the author, Harlan Fletcher, and he gave him some sage advice. If there's a movie, and it has a monkey in it, and the monkey doesn't kill anybody, 
it's not a good movie. Superhero, superhero. Uh, damn it. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> Superhero! Look! Superhero! <laughs> Look! It's superhero! I can tie a knot just fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. Yes? You are coming back tomorrow, right? This is Carol. Her father, Ken Bancroft, owns the studio. He's a really great guy, and not to mention the one who gave me this job. You know, sometimes I think Carol actually lives here. But without her, the studio would probably be doing cable access. Oh, to clean the studio for the investors' dinner, of course. Good. Well, the studio needs to be spotless. The podium still needs to be set up. And for chairs, we're going to need... It's okay, it's okay. I already went over all the details with your father earlier. <laughs> yes, but father will tell you we need 90 pounds of confetti and a life-size fake palm tree. I'm telling you things that we actually need. <sighs> Carol, <sighs> don't you think you're worrying a little too much? Maybe, but I wouldn't be running the fastest growing television production company on the East Coast if I didn't worry about the details. Yeah, well, let's not forget about superhero. I mean, you know. Well, we may owe something to superhero, but my life doesn't revolve around a costumed egomaniac who fancies himself a vigilante. So, uh, how's the clipboard? Hmm? Uh, the, the clipboard you're holding. The one I gave to you. Oh, yes, Eric. It's nice, but don't you think it's a bit bright? I thought it was pretty snazzy, actually. Oh, oh are you sure you want me to cancel the uh, life-size fake palm trees? Oh, hey, kitty. You must be hungry. Let me get something for you. 
Yes, Mr. Dexter, this is Jim from the Repo Depot calling about your cat. You are five payments behind schedule, and if payment is not made immediately... Hey, kitty? Have you seen my cat scanner around anywhere? I Maybe you've misplaced a cell phone or a calculator, so, so you might know what it's like to be missing something like the CAT scanner. Of course, you already know that I left it back in my janitor's closet, or office. Well, the night wasn't a complete waste. I mean, the story still made the paper. That's a great picture of superhero and me. Or my arm. Oh well, at least Opossum's henchmen were taken to jail. You're not going to jail, you idiot. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Eric, I was expecting you to be in this morning. The studio is even messier than yesterday since Superhero caught some idiot breaking in. Hey, there was all this police attention, and then I went looking for that opossum guy, and... Uh... The, hello, Carol! Hi, I'm sorry I haven't made it in yet. I've been down at the library. Did I mention I'm a really bad liar? Yeah, yeah, I had to do some last-minute research on, um, marsupials. Such a bad liar that it sounds like I'm lying, even though I'm really telling the truth. Right, right, the animals with pouches. Uh, my cousin, he's doing a documentary. Okay, that part was a lie. Okay, okay, just give me 30 minutes. Um, I will be there, the studio will be immaculate, I promise. Hello? Okay, so that wasn't one of my better adventures. I do get better though, I promise. We all make mistakes. We learn from what went wrong and we get better. But even when I screw up, am I that much worse than that muscle-bound doofus superhero? How can he have so much luck and two TV shows? It's just not normal. Then again, what is normal? Make it harder.